Hello everyone, um, I would like to say a few words about the, the project that you are going to um, do in, in this course. So, you should go here to NTU Learn. Right? You'll notice that there is this uh, library section. And um, this library section contains a lot of textbooks about um, applications of differential equations in, in various areas and some research papers and you should look at this paper first Laura and Petrarch an intriguing case of cyclical love dynamics right. so this is kind of the um, inspiration for the default project yeah, because the default project it's going to be um, about modeling a love story with differential equations. And so what I, what I want you to do, I want everyone to read at least th this paper. But now uh, let me just uh, briefly explain what it is about. So, Laura and Petrarch, they were the, these mean people who lived in uh, Italy in 14th century. And Petrarch was a great Italian poet, so he wrote... Uh, little poems called canzones. Right, so here is an example of, of a poem. And all, all his poems were devoted to the woman named Laura. So he was uh, in love with her. She, she was not very... Um, um, she didn't really reciprocate his feelings. But still sometimes uh, she was friendlier to him, sometimes um, she didn't really sound, didn't show any signs of interest. And the, the story lasted for 23 years. Right? So for every, um, every poem, it is known when it was written exactly. And then some historians, so not the author of the, this paper, but some historians, they just uh, gathered all the, these poems together and they... Uh, tried to informally estimate the level of, uh, I don't know, feelings of Petrarch towards Laura and feeling of Laura towards Petrarch. Right? So if, say, um, the poem sounds kind of hopeful, then the, the feeling is positive. If, if the poem is desperate, then the feeling is negative. And then they put everything uh, onto this, the, this, the, this graph. So every dot here represents a poem. So the um, horizontal axis is time in years. And the vertical axis is Petrarch's emotion. Right? So, for example, th th those dots that they, they, they so y if you look at 15 years, then there are some dots that, that are very close to the zero line. It means that these poems, they sound neutral. Right? So those dots that are um, below the uh, the t-axis or above the t-axis, so they are uh, respectively are desperate or hopeful. Right, but let me emphasize that in uh, in the case of, of this study, this um, plot was produced by by a different person. Right, so th this is produced by historian. In in your case, um, if uh, you choose to do the default project. The, the similar one, the, the project that is based on modeling a love story, and uh, it means that you will have to um, produce a similar plot yourselves. Most of the time, you just watch a movie or read a book, and then you identify key scenes in the movie or key uh, pages in, in, the, in, the, in the book, and then you, um, um, for, for, for every scene, you kind of, informally think of uh, whether the two characters they, they or what kind of feeling they have towards each other in that scene and then um, if the feeling is positive then um, you, you have a positive value of the emotion if the feeling is negative then the value of the emotion is negative right so uh, so the, the next uh, part here is that um, the author of the, this paper, Rinaldi, comes, tries to come up with a system of um, differential equations that 
sort of m captures the, the story of um, uh, Petrarch and Laura. So let me uh, screen a little bit further. So the, the, there is some, a long explanation that um, you should read, probably. It's, it's a good idea to uh, read th this paper. But now uh, look at this system of differential equations here. Right? So here, L, P, and Z are variables. And the left-hand side of the, the system are the three derivatives of the variables. And the right-hand side uh, is some expressions in the variables, L, P, and Z. Besides, there are some alpha 1, beta 1, and so on, gamma. These are parameters. So, these are some specific uh, constants that will be found later. But now, this is before we found it. So, the idea here is that the, um, um, that this system of dif differential equations somehow captures the true relation between Petrarch and Laura. So, L is, is, the, um, is Laura's emotion towards Petrarch, P is Petrarch's emotion towards Laura, and Z is uh, internal source of poetic inspiration. And so, in, in your case, when you do your project, you will have to come up with a system similar to this, but a system that uh, suits personalities of the uh, characters of the love story that you are modeling. And in, in your case, you, you will need to use either three uh, or two variables. So here, three variables are used. If you want to, to use two variables, if you think that in, in your case you don't need three, then please, um, please use two variables. But in any way, the, the system has to be a non-linear system and it has to be an on autonomous system, meaning that Z does not appear explicitly in the right-hand side. All right, so after this, um, Rinaldi um, speculates about how to find the values of the parameters. Uh, and finally, so he is able to uh, calculate the values of the parameters, but this is, so there are nine parameters, and uh, the, these values are more or less by um, taken out of, um, out of nothing. So, the, the, there is some justification, but the, there is no mathematical um, uh, foundation here. So, in, in your case, since you've done algorithms and computing three, and you know how to fit uh, parameters of the model into data, I think it is a good idea to apply uh, this machinery here. So, and then it, it, it means that in your case, I need you to do the, the same thing on a mathematical basis. So you will have to, instead of just speculating about possible values of the parameters, you will have to uh, find the, uh, parameter, the, the, the values by fitting the, the model into the data exactly in the same way as you did in the last semester. So you, you, you have to, to do it by, um, mm, by the particle swarm optimization. So that, that's the difference. Uh, between your project and Rinaldi's project. Then, so then, if you uh, go further, so this is a simulation. So the system of differential equations that uh, Rinaldi came up with cannot be solved explicitly, but instead you can solve it numerically on a computer. And this, this is what he did. So here he, here he plotted Petrarch's emotion versus time. And here there are two more plots, P versus L, and Z versus P, but all these three plots, they show some kind of cyclic pattern. So, you've got to do exactly the same thing. So, you've got to solve your system of differential equations numerically, and then you've got to produce the, the plots and include into your report. And after this, there is some um, kind of um, careful, rigorous mathematical analysis, where I don't remember exactly, um, it's been a while, but as far as I understand, here Rinaldi uh, tries to estimate whether the system is stable, whether, you know, if you change a little bit the values of the parameters, whether you're going to, to get the, the same kind of behavior, and uh, he probably tries to prove 
rigorously that there is this cyclic pattern that the solution converges to, to a cycle and so on. So anyway, so here you have this rigorous mathematical analysis that you will not be able to understand now probably, you will only be able to understand it later as the course progresses. But at least now you can uh, read up to this, this page and um, get the, the general idea. But in your, in your case, you've got to do something like this too. So you, you have to, after you have done, uh, after you've set up the model, when you feed the parameters of the, um, into the model, into the data, and then when you um, do your numerical simulation, so after this you, you need to do some rigorous analysis. And you, you probably need to produce plots like this. Well, anyway, so that's the default project. So if you choose to work within the default topic, then it means that you need to think of a love story, and then basically you have to do all the, the, the steps. So you have to produce um, a data set where um, every point is emotions of the characters uh, at a particular time. So then you need to come up with a system of differential equations that, that models, the, models it. And then you need to uh, feed the uh, values of the parameters into the data and then you need to do the simulation and finally you need to do some rigorous mathematical analysis. Well, uh, of course, um, if you instead of this of doing the, the, this kind of love story, you can um, look at, if you go down, so you, then you can check what um, your seniors did last year. So here there are some project reports. And then, if you don't like the love story, then you can model something else. So you can just browse through these projects, and then uh, maybe some of them uh, invented a different report. So like Apple versus Samsung here. I don't know. Um, so this is um, yeah, this is actually a love story. But if you uh, look at a few. Um, uh, report so this is athletic performance and so on so some of them are non-standard so I allow you to um, to continue research of your um, seniors instead instead of doing the love story but then of course it is kind of the it's not going to uh, to give you more more points so it is still considered to, to be um, a default topic in the sense that you are um, you do not invent something of your own All right so if instead you invent something completely different so if say you go to the library and you try to uh, I don't know look at these research papers and then maybe you can come up with a completely different topic that uh, n that you you never saw in in, in, in last year projects and then if you are able to find a data set that you can do the project on. So then you'll get um, your, um, you'll get a higher grade for the report. But even if you choose to do the default project, even if it is the love story, then you can still get a higher grade for the report if instead of doing all these th steps, you think of something else something more complicated, something where you, uh, something based on more research papers that, that you can, uh, can, can, can do, then again, even within the uh, love story project, you, you'll get a higher grade for kind of creativity um, in, in the project topic. All right, I hope it explains everything.